Hello, pet villagers. This is Scott, the administrator here at Seven Hills Animal Hospital, part of the pet village of Seven Hills. For most of us, our teeth are an important part of our lives. We pretty much use them every day. What does your dentist tell you to do to take care of those pearly whites? You brush them at least twice a day. He even expects you to floss. Now, why do we have to take care of our teeth? Sure, we just want to keep them around. I mean, how else are we going to tear a piece of tape? But there are other guys and girls in white coats that give us even more incentive. And they say that dirty teeth can lead to heart, liver, and kidney disease. That's right, those tiny bacteria in your mouth start to multiply and spread all over your body. So a germy mouth can equal a shorter life. Well, these guys and girls in blue coats are saying the same thing can happen to our family members of the furry variety. And a healthy mouth is still one of the most overlooked areas when it comes to pet health. A healthy mouth? <laughs> Look, we don't give my dog candy or soda pop. Maybe the occasional table scrap, but nothing's gonna cause any problem. The bacterial film called plaque builds up on your pet's teeth daily regardless what you feed them. And if this plaque isn't removed regularly, it continues to accumulate, eventually reaching the gums and then getting up under the gum line. And this leads to a lot of pain, swelling, and infection around the roots of the teeth. So what do you expect me to do, brush your teeth? <laughs> Actually, yeah, brushing every day is the best way to prevent plaque buildup. But even brushing as little as two or hopefully three times a week is better than nothing, and your dog will learn to love it. Maybe so. Somehow wolves have survived for thousands of years without brushing their teeth. How do you suppose that is? When a wolf pack takes down its prey, after they finished eating, they chew on the animal's bones, effectively removing a lot of that plaque. But even then, the average lifespan of a wolf is a lot lower than our pet dogs. The gray wolf that lives in the northern Rockies lives to an average of four years old. So I'm not sure you should be modeling your pet's health plan after a wolf. So you're saying to give my dog bones? <laughs> no, giving her dog real bones is setting her up for a trip to the emergency room. So what then? Look, I'm a busy man. I don't have time for this brushing nonsense. Fair enough. If you can only brush a few times a week, it'll still help. You can buy a special pet toothbrush or a finger brush that'll do the job and make sure to use pet toothpaste. Human toothpaste and pets do not mix. That just ain't happening, boss. If you can't brush, there's still other things you can do. An oral rinse you spray on your pet's teeth or a water additive are both good options. Provide your pet with plenty of good chew toys that massage the gums and dislodge that plaque. There are plenty of alternatives to real bones available. And last but not least, have your pet Pet dentist take a look and by your pet dentist I mean your vet. Hey, tooth and gum disease can creep up on your pet fast. The American Animal Hospital Association recommends dental cleanings annually. That's every year for cats and small dogs starting at the age of one and for larger breed dogs starting at the age of two. That sounds like a lot of work. It's not as bad as it sounds and a little preventive maintenance goes a long way toward your pet living a long, healthy and happy life. Thanks for watching and if you want to keep learning more about pets, vets and what we think your pet would say if she could talk, Please subscribe or check us out on Facebook. Hey folks, just as a side note, in the US, February is National Pet Dental Health Month. And I know a lot of vets offer a discount on a professional dental cleaning during that month. I know we do. So be sure to give your vet a call and check it out.